paintwork's no good. The paintwork might be good. More about that in a future video, of course, when we get it checked out. Big day for my human imp. When I say big day, what will be probably 10 minutes of video is gonna be uh, probably a few days or even weeks. It's time to get a laminated windscreen fitted and let's have this paintwork sorted. See in a bit. Much, much, much later. Many weeks have passed everyone, many, many weeks. I'm almost a year older. Now to be fair to Johnny, JM Automotive Solutions, a link to which will be in the description below this video, everyone. I deliberately left Hilda the Hillman Imp really early with him, knowing that he couldn't start it anywhere near the time I was dropping it off. But I had a new windscreen fitted because my trade was automotive glass, so I guess I knew the right contacts to order and get a windscreen made. And I also knew the right contacts to fit it professionally shall we say so of course some people might be watching the video and think well why did you get a windscreen fitted if the cars needed a lot of work well the reality is we were hoping that the car didn't need a lot of work but as you can probably guess by what i'm saying the car did need a lot of work so that freshly fitted windscreen ended up having to be removed safely thankfully in one piece and for it to be refitted so at the beginning of the video you will have seen me replay a clip where i said well the paint might be good 
the paint wasn't good and because it wasn't good I had a big decision to make if I'm going to make an investment and I'm going to have the whole car painted what do I do do I keep it the grey colour because at the end of the day didn't it look nice and grey everyone although if you didn't see it close up and as a viewer you wouldn't have you wouldn't have appreciated just how much of a hammerite finish that grey paint was but anyway it gave me a decision to make now if you watch the reveal video this video you'll know that my father's first car was a singer chamois which is basically a hillman imp but it is a hillman imp that hillman imp was red in color do you need me to say anymore my hillman imp was originally red the color code on the vin plate says firebrand red code 137 i was going to have the car repainted what do you do do you have it back to grey or do you put it back to its original colour what do you think welcome everyone to Hilda in her original colour even Franz come out to look Quick explanation for now and we'll do a, a, a fuller video in some time in the future. This colour is called 137 Firebrand Red. You're seeing it today where the tyres aren't absolutely spotless and the wheels aren't absolutely spotless. It's literally just been delivered by Johnny on a flatbed. So it's going to look even better but I think or hope you agree that the shine on this car and the paint finish on this car, even though it's a dull day in Derbyshire, is absolutely stunning please let me know your thoughts in the comments the car is not perfect the doors as much as we've tried are still not perfectly in line which is a shame watch this space we may get that sorted if you ignore that for a moment everything's been painted and you'll be pleased to know hopefully you're pleased to know these new rubbers on the rear quarters because the old ones were perished that should be a good indication that the car has had a glass out respray now unfortunately i couldn't go to the expense of having engine out to get under the bonnet done and i couldn't go to the expense of stripping the whole of the interior out to get little bits of the trim done inside the car as i'll show you in a minute but overall i hope you agree hilda looks absolutely splendid this is not the final story of what we're doing with this car and whilst i come around the back have you noticed something else that's changed the number plates because although in the uk you can have the silver and black which look nice on the gray car of course although you can have silver and black until the first of jan 1973 this car probably didn't come with those kind of plates on and my father's car which was a g-reg pol 587g if anyone's interested that also had the same plates as hilda has now got and aren't they absolutely lovely they are the proper jobs with the plastic sticky out letters that's what i call them i want your honest comments underneath the video please everyone anyway we said there is more to do and there is definitely more to do so as you take one more scan around the car i'm going to show you the interior show you what's been done now just to be clear I'm not going to open it now, we'll do a, a fuller video in the future, but under the bonnet has been painted as far as the bonnet itself is concerned, so that's all good, and obviously everything around there has been painted, just not the bits underneath, or inside should I say, and the same with the engine bay, but as Johnny, the guy who painted it for me has said, and what a great guy he is, bless him, thank you very much Johnny if you're watching this, boy is he a fussy painter, what he did explain is the obvious of course had this car have been red to start with and i was changing it to gray and i couldn't afford to get the bits done inside then of course that would look a bit silly because you'd open up say the engine compartment and you'd see all this shiny red the reality is if you open up the engine compartment on hilda now all you see is the dark gray which i think is much less obvious and i'm absolutely happy with i hope you agree 
if we look inside and Johnny again if you're watching this you'll get excited for two seconds but you're going to know I'm joking if you look inside there are currently no rear seats in the car is this because there's a roll cage going in no it's because the seats are being changed two reasons that the seats are being changed number one the Ford Fiesta seats that were fitted which are really comfortable I quite liked them because they're comfortable but then we realize there's nowhere to fold the back of the seat can you believe it so getting in and out the back involves turning the cog round to recline the backrest forward and then sliding the seat forward it's just not workable and because I love original I've been able to source some seats we'll show you those in a future video whilst we're at it the seat belts aren't correct either and to be quite honest they sit really proud really in front of your shoulders so we've got some original seat belts to go in too so there is a lot still to do with hill to be but i hope you agree let me just show you the door shuts have been done oh and the door inside has been painted which of course is really cool the only bit that's not been painted as i say is the back under the window but we have plans for that you'll see in a future video again all in all what do you think everyone what do you think as the sun shines on hill there i'm gonna leave it there for now that is one big update as franz currently undressing because the weather's getting him getting nicer that is one big update on hilda i hope it was worth the wait everyone as i say johnny a jm automotive solutions that i know which is over in matlock way great guy really fussy painter thank you again johnny for the work yes i know we've paid him to do the work but thanks credit where credit's due what a great finish there ain't no orange peel it's just got a lovely deep shine and i hope it's coming up on camera Thank you very much for watching everyone, enjoy whatever it is you're driving and I'll see you soon. Yeah.